For the video today, guys, I want to do a little experiment with the Navac 2CFM vacuum pump. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to test it to see how long it'll run on one battery charge. And we're going to see what kind of ultimate vacuum it achieves during that period. So the video you're about to watch is a full charge of the battery from 100% down to 0%. You'll be able to see the Yellow Jacket P51-870 gauges. We're using those as a micron gauge. We also have my iPhone in the center that's doing the timing. And then on the left, you'll see the Navac 2CFM vacuum pump. And we're going to let it play out in high speed. I'll give you a little bit of commentary while it's going. And then we'll review at the end. Let me tell you guys a little bit about the vacuum rig we're using here for this test. On the left, we have the Navac 2CFM battery powered vacuum pump with a five amp hour battery, 18 volt. Pictured now on the right, you have the P51-870 Titan digital manifold set up in evacuation mode with a separate vacuum sensor. And I wanna say before we get too far along, we're right around 20 microns at this point in the test, about 10 minutes in. The P51s are a touchscreen digital manifold there I have the UEI PDT650. That is the folding thermometer you see at the bottom of the screen. It does have a temperature of 56 degrees, 57 degrees roughly in my garage. And that does play a part in how fast a vacuum goes and how fast a battery depletes. So I want you to keep that in mind whenever we do this testing. I'll try to add as much data to it so you can compare from test to test. You can see the NAVAC in action there. I've been very pleased with that pump. It's very light, it has two connections on the top. I believe they're one quarter and three eighths. So you do have that three eighths connection to get a little bit more flow. The P51s, as you see, we're up near 50 to 60 microns now. So the micron level did go up quite a bit during the test. We were down near 20, just a few minutes in, and it goes up to 60 or 70 microns throughout the test. We have a few theories we're about to discuss as to why that happened. But for right now, we just want to see how long the battery will last. I've heard several reports that the battery will last anywhere from 45 minutes, that's right where we are at this point in the test, all the way to about an hour. I wanted to speed this thing up so we can see the whole thing in action here. As you can see, the temperature stays relatively the same. It got a little warmer in the garage, 58 degrees, not a big difference. But here we are coming up to almost an hour which will surpass my expectations for what the pump could do. I thought at the hour mark, we'd be dead and buried because it is a lot of work for a battery powered tool to do. Vacuum pump is a hefty tool and a five amp hour battery, 18 volt, doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it's definitely getting the job done as far as surpassing expectation. Now that we have that out of the way, we have to address why it is our microns went up. What do you guys think? We're about to discuss it here. As the test concludes right here, you can see the battery is exhausted at about one hour, 10 minutes, or a little bit more. I think a very good job for the Navac battery powered vacuum pump. One of the things that I noticed during this test is the fact that the micron gauge got down very low almost immediately. We were down at 19, 20 microns, which is a great low micron reading for testing the pump. So it feels like the pump is doing very well. It's doing its job. But as the test went on and on over the next hour, it went all the way up to 60 to 70 microns. And I don't know exactly why that happened. My theory is that as the oil became less fresh, the pump was less able to get that low micron reading. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the test back into place. I'm gonna charge that battery back up and I'm gonna charge the P51s back up because we almost expended those as well. I think they were down at 30%. And we're going to see if we can pull that ultimate vacuum down to 20 microns again with the same oil, which would prove it's not the oil, or if it doesn't pull it down, it indicates that it might be the oil. So let's check that out and we'll review after that. So it looks like the oil might be the culprit. We're going to do some further testing and try to prove or disprove that. The pump did a great job initially. 
and then it rose up to 60, 70 microns throughout the rest of the test. The second test, it went from anywhere between 50 to 70 microns, so roughly the same in a very rough sense. That was just our first test with the Navac 2 CFM pump. We're gonna do some more. We have true blue hoses. I might get some other vacuum hoses in to kind of compare. We might pull through the yellow jacket rig a few times to see how it compares, but stay tuned to that and a whole lot more as far as tool testing, tech tips here on HVAC Shop Talk.